everyone and welcome to another Hobby Farm Guy Spotlight. I'm Eric and today we check out a chicken breed that is one of the oldest known, the Dorking. And if you enjoy these spotlights, please do us a favor and subscribe to the channel. So stick around. No one knows for sure how or when the Dorking chicken was first developed. But we do know that it was a favored breed in the Roman Empire, with records of this chicken dating as early as 43 AD. It reached its peak of popularity after being imported to Britain. The name comes from the town of Dorking in Surrey, England. Primarily raised for the table, the Dorking is renowned for its flavorful, tender, and juicy meat. But it also is a good layer, producing 140 to 170 white or light cream colored eggs though color can vary depending on the variety of dorking. This is unusual as birds with red earlobes typically lay brown eggs. They will also lay consistently throughout the year, not slowing down much if at all in the winter, like most breeds do. Though first shown in London in 1845 because a number of varieties had become extinct, a new standard was developed in 1970. The recognized varieties are white, silver gray, red, dark, and cuckoo. The body is rectangular with short legs and a short neck. The skin is white which makes for a nicely dressed carcass. Combs and wattles are typically red. They sport a single comb except for the white variety which has a rose comb. Hens usually weigh around 8 pounds and adult roosters can weigh as much as 10 to 14 pounds. When it comes to temperament the dorking is hard to beat. They are calm and gentle and can be quite friendly often becoming rather attached to the hand that feeds them. They love to forage, so free-ranging is preferred, though they typically don't wander very far from home. Of course, their docile demeanor means they usually fall near the bottom of the pecking order, so they may not mix well with aggressive breeds. The Dorking is considered a very hardy breed, though varieties with a single comb are susceptible to frostbite in cold winter weather. Hens do tend to go broody and are considered excellent mothers when they hatch a clutch of chicks. They will even adopt other chicks to raise and they tend to raise them longer than other breeds. So far, everything seems to point to this being the perfect backyard breed because it really is if a true dual purpose chicken is what you're seeking. The downside though is that the Dorking can be hard to source. This is because the breed is considered endangered. All the more reason you should keep a flock if you'll be breeding them. Like many endangered farm animals, it will be the small backyard and homestead flocks that keep it from becoming extinct. So are you ready to help this rare breed fend off extinction? Have you had experience with the Dorkings? Let us know in the comments below. And until next time, happy hobby farming. 